Do you want to feel like a real spy? Then this video is for you. Today we will show you the most interesting and crafty ciphers cameras in a variety of map locations. This is the best of Valorant channel. Enjoy watching. We start with the location of the camera on Haven map, which is one of the biggest locations in the game. This map is so big that it has three plants and running between them is impossible, so you should make it easy for yourself and your teammates with this camera. In order to put it on this location, we have to climb in a window, aim for this corner here, then with a slight movement of the hand, stick camera in place as shown in the video. Wow, now you can see all of a plant at once. We're still on Haven map because we also have a very interesting camera position on C plant. Thanks to this location, we can easily view two directions of attack at once, long and exit from the connector. To do the same, you will need jump onto this box, aim at the corner as shown in the video. As soon as the camera turns blue, press the LMB boldly. That's it. You can once again see more than you should. Use it. It seems Haven is so big that there are so many camera spots. Let's move on to the next position. To find out whether Appen is pushing you or not while not getting out of the ground, we need only to stand as shown in a video and lightly move the hands of our character to attach a camera at this corner as shown in a video. Congratulations! You can now predict opponent's actions, believe that the victory is in your pocket. Let's move on to the next map. Split. This is the place where we have already discussed when told about Sova's Recon Bolt. Check out the video in which we've collected 11 working bugs in the Valorant on our channel. However, let's finish with the Cypher's cameras first. To repeat what is shown in the video, have your back against the wall and aim at the corner of the building shown in the video. The tricky part is that during the jump you need to stick the camera on the corner of a building. You might not be able to do it right with the first time, but be patient and you will do it. Well, due to those cameras, some players might actually think that you are playing with cheats. However, in order to see the exit from Haven and part of B-Plant, all we need is a little bit of skill. Stand on this corner and try to put the camera on the balcony opposite. In order for us to be able to do this, we need to do it all in a jump. Did you know that you can attach your camera so that you can see in advance all of your opponent's movements on a plant? If not, then the next point is for you. In order to repeat it, no special scales are required. We just stand in front of this wall and hang the camera over there. Fracture is one of the most interesting maps in the game, because the ability to move across half the map in a second is really amazing. There is also a large number of cameras. This one, however, just blew my mind. To properly make this move, we do not need to stand in a certain place. The main thing – aim well. The camera should be aimed so that its lens looks straight down. That way, you can remotely open the doors and easily detect enemy movement. Enjoy using it. The most stealthy camera for today. It's perfect for real spies. You can easily see everything that's going on with a spike you've planted. To do this as shown in a video, you just need to stay over here and try to get your lens to stick it on the wood. That's it. You can now spot anyone who tries to approach Spike. Return to the split map. To destroy the next camera, the enemy will have to go through seven hells, because it's impossible to find. It's so well hidden in the textures that not everyone will be able to spot it. Using this bug, you can easily track the way to the plant and even highlight your enemies. To replicate this in your own game, all you need to do is align your scope on this point and attach the camera. The last camera for today is on a bind map. Its ideal location will help you determine the enemy's early attack on B-plant. Jump on this box. Then, while jumping, try to attach the camera to the far side of the building. Now you can quickly and efficiently detect the enemy's approach. Well, I hope these cameras will really help you in real games. Thank you very much for watching us. See you later. Bye-bye.